It's uh, time for our segment, D Street Chatter. Nimesh is joining in to get us an insight into the dealing room chatter uh, and also about a few stocks that he has picked up. Nimesh, over to you. Hi, Reminder. So another day of uh, markets where it's been at days low, but today for a change, it's backed by FI selling as well. So I understand you probably will see a large FI number, FI sell figure in today's market. Uh, on top of it, there is a there is a large MOC basket selling as well at leading FI. So maybe the last 30 minutes could be quite volatile on the negative side. That's that's from a flow perspective. Having said that, uh, the surprise to the market is there are a lot of stocks which are doing actually well as well. You know, a lot of mid cap stocks have done well today. You know, Prashant pointed out a few names which are which are buzzing in trade up 10 10 15 percent. So despite weak global queues, despite large sell off. There are some pocket which is done well today, which is a bit of a surprise for the market. And remember, it's a truncated week. We are not working tomorrow. So that's something to, 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 to note of. Uh, the sector which is under pressure seems to be the technology name for the second day running. Big selling pressure from on those names. So across mid-cap and large-cap IT names, there is selling pressure. And that's showing up in the in the stocks as well. On the uh, on the on the flip side, though, some bit of buying seems to be emerging in, in select auto names as well as some farmer stable stocks as well. So that's again well bid from a larger institutional point of view. Uh, from a from a nifty point of view i guess uh, 22 175 is a very crucial support on the nifty if that gets taken out you'll see a sharp sell off so that has to be taken into account but clearly today's market is a bit confusing heavy selling from the larger fis but still the broader market selective broader markets have actually outperformed indeed uh, nimesh few stocks just spiking up as we speak uh, you have excite that's locked in upper circuit in this sort of a market so individual stocks what are you picking up well, you know, so the first stock on my list today is Coffee Day Enterprises. For, after a long time, this this has come to my chat and list. Big, big volumes, and 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 the stock is up nine, nine ten percent last minute I checked. Again, uh, the buzz is that maybe a very large influential H and investor has bought a large chunk uh, in in uh, in Coffee Day Enterprises. Also, there is a buzz of a large block deal coming soon in this particular company. So watch out for that as well. The second stock is Crompton Consumers. Well, it's been you know been pretty much flat for the last few quarters. Been consolidating a very narrow range of of late as well. But off late, I understand a couple of large domestic mutual funds have started accumulating this stock at lower levels. So that's that's the second name. The third stock is Petronet LNG. Well, the stock is up in trade today, uh, apart from uh, including the entire PSU basket. There is selling pressure in Petronet LNG at this level. So, well, the stock is done well off late. Some bit of selling seems to be emerging. Maybe a bit of profit booking as well in Petronet LNG at this price. And the last name is Samudra Madhusan. Uh, again, uh, uh, I spoke about autos doing well today. Uh, some of the auto ancillaries have also been well bid. So there is buy flows in, uh, in Samudra Madhusan as well. Even technically, uh, you know, the stock after a very long time has come out of that range of that last block where, where Sumitomo sold at 121 odd level. So, uh, uh, you know, after that, it's been very long time that the, that, that price is now crossed. So maybe a bit of technical buying as well in Samudra in today's trade. All right. Uh, <coughs> Nimesh, interesting list as always. Thanks very much uh, for that. And uh, Samardana, Petronet, Trompton, uh, Coffee, uh, uh, Coffee Day Enterprises are some of the names. Nimesh, you want to come back? You want to add something? Yeah, yeah Prashant. Okay, I just wanted to add a word on yeah. Patanjali. While, we, while you know, okay. we, everybody has flashed uh, that GQG's holding has gone up from 3.5% to 11.5%. Technically, it looks a little wrong to me. I mean, not that uh, we have reported wrong or other medias have reported wrong. Looks like there is a, there is a factual error in that, uh, in that uh, reporting which has is, which is come on the exchanges because... I was just looking at uh, the two uh, the, the two quarters. Uh, the last quarter, the uh, FI holding was ten and a half percent. That remains constant at ten and a half percent, little over ten and a half percent, even in this quarter. So you know, looks looks to me, prime of it looks to me that there is a bit of a technical reporting error that GQG has uh, increased the stake from three and a half to eleven and a half. So we need to just revisit it. I've uh, I've asked for an official comment from uh, Patanjali as well. But prime of it, Prashant, it looks to me, and and the fact that the stock is up four and a four and a half percent, just wanted to put on the table that maybe there is a factual uh, factual reporting in the, in that uh, in that quarterly filing. Okay, uh, Nimesh, thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, so that is important. I mean, if uh, I mean, if people have jumped on the uh, sort of stock uh, on the on the basis of that news report, that Nimesh is telling us that maybe uh, there seems to be a bit of a reporting error, which we will try and clarify with the company. As Nimesh said, he's asked for a comment from the company. So we'll uh, try and have that for you during trading hours, 20 odd minutes to go for uh, close. So uh, that's uh, Patanjali at uh, 14.06. We'll take a break. We are back. We'll tell you what to buy, sell today for a reverse trade. Day after tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, is a holiday. Stay with us.